Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot. I'm here on the Geek Tech Industry server, Alpha 7, Stable Branch. We, I think this is episode 5. So you can see we've done a little bit more work to the base. Uh, Phil finally finished off the mezzanine area in the garden so we've got all of our basic necessities going here uh, we've got our stuff to make bandages here cava beans for coffee and uh, the plant protein for healing up fast in POIs also our durians tomatoes and pumpkin for the canned vegetables so we're not hurting for food anymore. We're way, I think we're way past the survival stage. The drone attacks have stopped. Apparently this server default is not um, infinite drone waves, but just hard. So it does, it goes through its hard sequence, and which is the large attack drones and many, the, you know, a bunch of waves. And eventually there's the last couple of waves are like six of them, which, which we dealt with and the base dealt with no problem with the three turrets on the top really. So today you'll notice that I am level 10 and we've been looting, there's a couple of POIs up on the hill, they're civilian POIs, we've been looting them quite a bit. Every hour they regen by default so We've been smashing their core and multi-tooling stuff out. We've we've ended up getting a lot of stuff for the the base because of that. Like a lot of the stuff here is actually looted. Also, the full blocks when you put them into a a plan, a factory plan, a blueprint that doesn't require certain mats in it, but does require some, but not others. It strips the ingots out. The excess ingots that it doesn't need of that of the other types now if it's of a type that it does need it'll actually over stock those so you'll end up with more with an overage in your factory not a big deal it just carries over to your next blueprint but keep that in mind uh, power coils and flux coils now require a whole bunch more neo and sathium to make so <laughs> I didn't actually realize that we had looted about 50 or 60 of the of the uh, of each type of coil almost well not the not the power coils but I think we only had about a dozen of those or not quite yeah maybe about a dozen and so I was throwing a bunch of parts in my factory for my CV shell, getting really close to level 10 that I was. I thought, oh, I might as well start getting that going with all the looted, you know, parts. And what happened was with all the flux coils and the power coils that I threw in there, it actually did an overage. <laughs> and I now have it's actually ready so I ended up with over 1200 neo from the flux coils and power coils and some other stuff too looted neo uh, we had we ended up with more neo than I needed actually I had an overage when I threw it in there I'm like oh what I was expecting to have to go and take the warp SV around and go get Neo at like Ninge's. So we're not going to have to do that and, and I, I showcased the progression of that through the Alpha 7 experimental in my last series so if you really want to check that out and see the actual progression how it was supposed to be and not how I'm ended up bypassing a chunk of it it seems now we're on Talador and if you look at Talador with me so the resources are you know those four resources iron copper silicone promethium as both meteorites depletion and deposits we go into the sector map we take a look that Talador is all on its own and in the orbit 
there's silicon, copper, promethium, and iron. There's no moon. There's no way to get pentaxid. I think they missed that. There's absolutely, I even looked in the YAML and I thought, oh, maybe they shoved it in the wreckages because that would kind of go along with the theme of this planet with these trapped wreckages. And I thought, well, why isn't there any pentaxid available? You can't even, so you can only loot some once in a while by random? Yikes, guys, I think you missed it. I think you missed this planet having some sort of way of getting pentaxid. Uh, and that can happen in a, uh, anyway. So what I'm gonna do with my server is because I'm an admin and I'm the first one that tried this on our server, our, our uh, squad is the first ones trying this starting planet on our server. I'm going to give myself enough Pentaxa to warp to the next system, which is 14 uh, Pentaxa and 14 refined Pentaxa. And then we're going to jump off the planet. I'm going to wipe the play field. I'm going to wipe the template for the play field. I'm going to modify the YAML in the scenario and add pentaxid to the cargo boxes in each of those wreckages, wreckages. So it'll so at least you'll have a way of getting pentaxid, but you got to go through the the wreckages to do that. So in 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 that theme that I'm proposing, I think I should actually have to go do a wreckage. Hmm? Isn't that fair? I should go do a wreckage to mimic me getting my 14 pentaxid that I'm going to get if if I had actually had it in the, the YAML correctly, because I missed it. And so, hey, you know, I, I caught a bunch of the regen that they missed uh, the first time around and added that in so I didn't need to. But uh, this one I missed completely. I just assumed that there was like pentaxid available as, to pick as like stuff, but I haven't found any can't find any in the animals. It's like, ooh, okay. So the only way is to loot it at this point. And so in that theme, I think we should make it actually a, 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 a viable way is going to those wreckages. So we're going to do that. We're going to go do some wreckages or at least a one or two. They might be epically hard. Now I have a lot of bullets on me. I've got enough food and energy and healing stuff and ammo and yeah yeah if I can see a slime or raptor I'll kill those and get a T2 pistol right away too so let's sorry I'm gonna go into um this one. Let's go over this one over here where the raptors were. Just beyond the facility. Wasn't it just beyond there? Now I can't remember. So, no, maybe not. There's one up here. Up on the mountaintop. There's one there. Across the water. That one's actually pretty close. Uh, it's far enough away from the drone base. There's this one here, damaged building. That's quite a distance. And there's a couple down here. There's also a POI, a shooty POI. So there's a couple down here, abandoned hideout. Oh, but that's really close to that. Huh. Huh. Uh, that shouldn't be too bad though. We should be able to get to that. So if we, that's quite the distance though, isn't it? Yeah, it's like the other side of the planet. Uh, you know what? That's probably going to be our easiest bet. I know it's fairly close to the drone base, but it's not within shooting distance. So let's, let's try this derelict shuttle.
So this is the one where we had some difficult times. <laughs> uh, I believe that was episode three. If you guys go haven't seen the whole series, if you're just watching this for the first time. Oh, now, what are these guys? These guys are not the raptors I'm looking for. I don't think so. Let's, let's kill him and see. Oh. It's because I had something there. Oh my god. Okay, let's just go over here. See if I can find a slime. I really need a slime. Okay, where's that raptor? He's coming right up here. There he is. He's not the right one. Uh, oh, this guy got kicked at me. Let's kill him then. I'm not too worried about picking their bits right now. I'm not. I don't need the food and the other rotten food or whatever spoiled food that the other plant monster gives you. I'm just interested in uh, checking out this POI. Now it's at night, so I'm a little. I'm a little nervous about that. But, let's see. Let's make sure that my shuttle, or my uh, hover, is got all of its stuff turned on. Turrets are on. Let's check out what I have them set at, just double checking. So, no predator, no prey. I'm thinking I might want to do Predator. I've got enough ammo that... I want it to clear the area here and keep it clear. That makes sense? It makes sense to me. And, okay, so it's already found stuff to shoot at. See, excellent. Okay, so there's a door in there somewhere. I saw it there before. Yeah, it's right there. So if I get a line of sight with my sh with my hover, right? And if they come sprinting out at me, my hover should be able to do it, right? No, maybe I gotta need. Maybe let's lean forward a little bit. Come a little closer. Come down. Yeah. Oh, there's the raptors I need over there. Ah. You know what? We'll just leave them alone for right now. Turn my light on. I'm probably going to turn that on. Get my gun out. And... Whoa. Can't see squat. Okay, so I heard really mean, nasty raptors. And that's... I don't care about those. Those are just those mule lizards. So I'm thinking these raptors are going to come sprinting out at me, and I need to run back to my hover. So... Let's practice this. Whoa! Okay, didn't see that. So that is, uh-huh, okay. So, so, God, that's freaky with them right there. They're like right at the door. Is that right? Is this door gonna just auto open? It is, isn't it? Come on. Oh, stop the jitteriness. Come on. Can I shoot him? Nice. Okay. So that's that one. 
We'll take its meat. We'll take its meat. We'll take its meat. So another one. So there's a cargo box. Is there a spawner somewhere? <laughs> So where did that spawn? It looked like it spawned right in front. I think it's a... Come on. Okay, let's just rush in, grab stuff. Jeez. These things spawn super fast. <sighs> okay, we'll rush in, grab stuff. Jesus! <laughs> and... What's it spawning from? Can't shoot the thing it's spawning. At least it doesn't seem to be taking damage. So don't stay, just get up to it. Ha, ah, okay, I think I figured out how to do these. Well, this one anyway. Did you see that? I just didn't go in the square in front of it anywhere and it didn't spawn. Okay. <sighs> Let's use another bandage. Because those things freaking hurt. <sighs> another one there. So yeah, interesting. What was that loadout that I got? That was really good. Uh, Neo, a bunch of large med kits. That's awesome. A bunch of, a bunch of stuff. Meds. Okay, but Neo, that's pretty huge. And large med kits. That was worth it. I never died. Never died. We should, uh, we should actually harvest these things before they disappear. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, so... My shuttle... Or my uh, hover didn't help that much. It did kill one of them. I guess it can't get line of sight between those blocks. That's okay. I was able to do it with my uh, rifle. Okay, so that's one down. Um... So I can't get anything out of that POI anymore. That's one of those personal cargo boxes that is unique where each person can loot it once and they can store stuff in it too and nobody else has access to it. It's like a it's like an alternate dimension cargo box for each individual person. You get the loot lay, load out once and you can store stuff in there for as long as you want really and nobody else can access it. So but uh yeah um that's all there was when in there. That's just a trap. That's just evil. Just evil. Although, realistically, for 47 Neo, I'd say it's worth it. And the four large med kits, that makes up for the damage I took. So I'm not, I'm not all that disappointed. Let's, oh, that is so bright. So we've done this one. Let's mark that. Uh, I'm just going to mark this as... <sighs> done. Can I change it like this? No. Oh. Okay, so if I put a little... A little X. Accept that. Did that change it? Yes. Deck 
shuttle X. Okay. That way I know if I X everything, it's crossed off. Okay, let's check out the next one. So we're, we don't want to get too close to the drone base. We're going to have to go back up and around, or we go check out this fuselage. There's a settlement there, but really close to POI. Settlement, abandoned hideout, discarded base, POI. We could do that one. So we also got to explore more. Um, there's this one here, damage building. Yeah, let's let's come up here and we'll go to this one. So we should be able to avoid the. Oops. Damn it. Let's, yeah. Let's. Uh, <laughs> okay. Stop. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. Really? Okay. Settle down, turrets. Settle down. I'll turn off Predator on them for now. I'll just reactivate that when we... It'd be, you know what would be cool? A switch that you could group these all in and just turn off the behaviors of it. Something to think about. Okay, so now that we're not going to shoot at everything and waste all of our ammo, let's head out. Spiders. Oh, what is that? That is the other POI. Right. So, this thing, this is the other POI. This has a twin just down the, just over there. And we looted the crap out of it many times now. It has, see it has a repair bay. It also has an advanced constructor in it. So every time we multi-tooled it, we're getting good stuff. And that ended up being all we needed to, to make a little, a tiny little starter CV, which we're gonna actually spawn at probably the end of this video. Or, you know what, I'll, I'll do a couple more of these, and then we'll we'll see how much time we got, and possibly I don't really have a CV, an SV that's worthy of taking on a shooty base, so that might be something we might need to look at building next. Okay, so it's minus forty up here. Holy crap! to be able to get out because I don't think oh well my suits let's take a look to see what my comfort level is minus 46 to 81 because I've got three multi boosts and mobility and heavy armor so not bad I can actually get out here that's kind of crazy with with a decent amount of armor too okay so let's just go down to this new marker to uh, remove it from our map. Okay, so we didn't reveal anything going up here. That's kind of disappointing. Because I don't think I've revealed all the wreckages. Okay, well, we're... Let's go check out the damage building then. Whoa! you'll catch a rock and it'll just flip you. Now, have I taken out the the defenses? The, the, what I mean on these ones, these, oh, no, I have not. See, there is a, oh, there is a bunch of drones. Okay, so. It's going to activate here. What's going on? Yes, they are good. Get these guys killed. Why can't we see it? The 
stuck. Ah, it's stuck. Okay. So, I should take the bits. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick little jump to... Oh, right, I can't do my drone here. Okay, so let's let's find a good spot to so there's a door right there and a door up there I wonder where the personal there's the personal cargo box so it's gonna be right in front of that so if I if I I'm right here lower it right down when they come chasing me out I my I should be it should activate and shoot them so let's set predator on and it might shoot a bunch of stuff first but that's okay up the area for me. So you can see it's, it's going to use up some ammo here to clear up the area. I don't know what's over there, but whatever it is. Killed everything? Yeah? No? No, apparently not. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, not sure if that's an entrance there or just stairs. That looks like just stairs going up. So I'm not sure. I think I need to do the bottom one. So let's, let's get this thing parked. Okay, 
Okay, so that shot at it. That's good. So, like, what? Right in front of the door? Are you kidding me? this cargo box is going to be really freaking difficult. So I think I run in, I grab it and run out. No! Oh, Jip! <laughs> no, that sucks! Yeah, screw you! Alpha testing. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, we're not doing that one. Hey, at least I didn't get poisoned. Um, okay. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I might have to log out log back in and restart the game that's starting to get a little buggy or at least that thing is that might be actually a good idea I could try that this should be okay I'm going to log out right here and then log shut the game off log back in I don't see any drones so yeah see let's let's do it quit quit yeah okay yeah no <laughs> okay, so let's do that. Really? Come on, quit. Really? No? We're not gonna let me quit? Is that, is that real? <laughs> Come on. Oh, and now I don't even have control of my, of my vehicle. So I have to hard kill the game? Really? And... I, ha I don't actually have control. I can't F. Control panel. And eat things. <laughs> Come on, really? <sighs> okay, well, I guess I gotta kill the actual session. Um, that really sucks. That really sucks.
<laughs> it really sucks. Sorry, guys. We're going to blackness. The black void. Well, let's boot her back up. Yeah. Wow. Alphas. Alphas. This is the first real bugginess I've had. Obviously, it was a, um, a fatal error that could not be overcome by clicking continue. So we'll uh, get the client here, loading back up. And let's jump back in. Sorry about this, guys. That's why nobody plays Alpha. <laughs> I know it's <clears throat> Alpha testing is is not really playing the game. You're testing. You got to expect these errors, but you just work through them and report them. Holy crap! Okay, that's a that's a bit of a brutal. <laughs> um, wow. Thanks for, like, putting me outside. I could have died. Oh, okay. So, are we okay now? I think we're okay now. Should we let it kill stuff and try and go back in? What do you think? I think I should try and go back in again. Maybe it maybe it won't error out. I think I'm actually playing with fire doing it, but I'd like to try. I want to get the loot, right? So let's try. Gun going good. We've got all that. Oops. Whoa. Yeah, multi boosts actually make you jump really far. So, are we ready? I'm screwed. Oh my goodness. I bet you it's going to air out again, isn't it? Okay, I'm just going to fly away from here. Now that I have control of my HV. Oh! I'm going to try. Come on. bugs. <laughs> uh, really? What are you shooting at now? What are you shooting at? Uh, I think I need to try and go back to base and call this an episode. <laughs> So just an example of what can happen in the game on any given uh, moment, you can get completely pooched by a bug. And it's something you gotta expect in an alpha. Come on. 
I'm afraid that when I log back in, my shuttle is going to be at the, or my hover will be at the base, and I'll be back at that derelict frickin' whatever it was. <laughs> How much you want to bet? <sighs> but even still, I gotta try. And hopefully, hopefully I'll make it back. But oh, come on. Come on. I don't even want to go into my turrets to adjust them. I just want to... I just want to get back. Stuff that can happen without a lot of testing being done on stuff getting implemented into the game late into a release client. So, yeah. <laughs> that happens. That happens. And you gotta come to expect it. But we did, we did uh, realize what's going on with those wreckages now it's they're they're just booby trap personal cargo boxes uh there was other stuff in that one though but i just it was i it was bugging out too bad i couldn't deal with it so we we come on really i'm gonna shut you off Grab my stuff out of the fridge. Well, you can see that I'm under a torrent of errors and I need to put the stuff into the fridge and come on and restart. Come on and come on and, and come on and and here we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. uh. Well, guys, I guess I just got to kill my session. Um. Sorry you had to see all that, folks, but that's part of alpha testing. Stop it. Stop it. Well, if you like this episode, like and subscribe. Next episode, barring any really bugginess, we'll spawn the CV and uh, equip it with the stuff from the base. Until then, guys, you guys have an awesome day.